Hello everyone, Space Oyster here, and welcome back to Golden Sun, the Broken Seal. In the last part, we made our way through the Sahula Desert and the Sahula Gate place thingy. To, uh, we found out that um, Satoros and Minardi have apparently been uh, attacking a lot of the Lalafell soldiers. Venus Lighthouse was attacked by strange wanderers. Oh shit. Exact same dialogue as the last guy who died. Bobby's soldiers are all colossal victors. How could anyone be all of us? Who were they? I thought I recognized one of them. An alchemist who served Bobby. Was it Creighton? Yeah, one thing I really do like about this game is how Satoros and Minardi aren't constantly bugging you at every opportunity. You're constantly aware that they exist and that you have to find them, but it isn't until the end of the game that they start to make up a... be very prominent in your activities, or something to that effect, anyway. Oh, how could they at attack mere scholars? Those barbarians! Their powers were so strange. Who were they? They are already... Headed for Bobby Lighthouse. They weren't in Venus Lighthouse very long. They were heading north toward Bobby Light Lighthouse when I last saw them. Why would they need to head to Bobby Lighthouse? Iodem, be happy. The entrance to Venus Lighthouse is open. After years of study, our dreams have at last come true. If only I could move. The lighthouse is open at last, but at what cost? How? How did they open the door to Venus Lighthouse? The young boy seemed to glow for an instant. Then the entrance to Venus Lighthouse opened. Waited so long to see what it's like inside Venus Lighthouse, but... I can't even move without feeling terrible, terrible pain. I must get inside. Venus Lighthouse must find the connection. As I heard like the previous game Camelot made before Golden Sun, that was also an RPG, uh, it was called Beyond the Beyond, and the villains in that one tended to show up every five steps to remind you, hey, we're here. A uh, Kraden told them to stop, but they attacked anyway. Attacking scholars. How vicious! If Creighton hadn't been there, we surely would have been killed. Sir Satoros and Minardi, they definitely seem like villains. Creighton went inside, but then came back and said this isn't the entrance. But we've searched the lighthouse, and there's no other entrance. Creighton said something about this being the exit. I wonder what he's discovered. Hmm. Well, who knows. But, uh... This mural looks interesting. There are words carved, in, carved into the relief. If ye seek to climb Venus Lighthouse, first seek the power within. To obtain this power, see with the eyes of truth, then the way shall open. But the path I reveal is not the beginning. The true beginning lies down ancient pathways on distant soils. See with the eyes that can... I forget the exact description, but the point is you gotta use reveal. And that gets us the carry stone. So carry is a new synergy. Uh, anyone can equip this one. Let's go ahead and give that to Isaac since uh, carry is about... Um, well, you'll mostly be moving blocks. So it seems like something Isaac would do. Did I say Ivan? I think I accidentally said Ivan. Alright, since these nightmares are faster than Mia and they tend to uh, disable synergies, I'm just gonna have Mia do a regular attack. Yeah, they seem to be pretty successful with that. Maybe Bind just has a high success rate. Even so, I wouldn't recommend using it too much as uh, the player. Um, uh, enemies tend to be pretty uh, resistant to it, and honestly, you're better off just trying to kill them quicker anyway. 
and then bosses. Um, well, the tricky thing about using it on bosses is sometimes they have abilities that are listed as monster abilities instead of synergy skills. Uh, an example of that would be that uh, would have been that Storm Lizard's um, wing beat. That one hit multiple people, and it was technically a monster ability, not a synergy. So if I had used Bind on it, that would have prevented him from using, uh, like, Storm Ray, but it wouldn't have stopped him from using, using Wing Beat. Alright, a Lucky Cap. Boosts critical hit rate and restores PP. Very nice to have. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Ivan, because he's just so weak. Ugh, seriously, you would think he was a 15-year-old boy or something. Or maybe he's 16. They do mention that time has passed, and I don't know when his birthday is. But what I do know is I'm gonna hit these guys with a tornado. Isaac attacked the what's her butt? The nightmare. And then hopefully next turn we got the, this enemy party taken down. I believe that was Ivan who gained a level. Alrighty then. Uh, let's... Actually, let's head up those stairs first. I'm curious about where those go. Oh, maybe I should have had Isaac attack the goblin instead of the nightmare, because... The goblin carries vials if you be able to get Eh, but I guess it doesn't matter in the long run. One way or another, we will be victorious! Yay! Acid bath! Mm -hmm. Alright, nose, nose is feeling a little stuffy. And we're gaining so many levels now. Maybe I am underleveled. Uh, scary thought. Very scary thought. Oh, alright, I was gonna go up those stairs first. No. I thought I'd explore after the door opened. While I was searching this room, Creighton and the others appeared. They did something to the statue that made the floor light up. I wonder what mysteries the statue holds. Creighton said that the statue indicated the true path, but how? And why is the floor still lit up? It's almost like it's almost like Satoros and Minardi's actions don't affect our own. Or don't affect our own path. Very strange indeed. If I knew these nightmares were going to be this strong, I would have had everyone attack the same one. But that's okay. And I love their attack animation being like a flying drop kick. That's just hilarious. Time to go back to this room over here. And you'll notice that we can't push this block far enough, so Garrett will pop out and give us a hint. Hmm, we can't push the block farther than this. It'd be great if we could carry that block and drop it under the ground. Can our synergy help us at all? I think he pops up to say that even if you haven't picked up the carry gem, but basically, that's exactly what you need to use. Carry! It'll lift the stone up, and then, uh, just like move, you can move it in any of the cardinal directions. Well, uh, up, down, left, or right. And it'll move it just one space. Oh, I thought that was going to be a thing I could read. But no, it's just hiding a set of stairs.
Ooh, Cyclone Slash. The statue speaks to Isaac's soul. Ye who seek to climb Venus Lighthouse, I shall grant thy wish. The path long closed shall not be opened here. That path begins far, far away on the soil of an ancient people, with the sunrise to your left as you gaze upon the lighthouse. Yeah, I have no idea what that meant, but now the floor lit up. When I, for the longest time when I was a kid, I, or, uh, I thought that I had to do more in this room, but no, that's all we needed to do. It just basically affects something we'll have to do later on. Or how we'll get to Venus Lighthouse later on. But the point is, it's it's um, uh, not very necessary for now. You know what, I think we explored everything in Venus Lighthouse, so rather than walking out, I think I'll just use Return. Oh hey, I dropped a healing ring. Neat! I didn't know they could do that. Um, but yeah, a lot of these late game enemies, they have a high chance to drop gear you can equip. Well, not a high chance, they actually have a low chance to do it. On my practice playthrough, one of the uh, Earth Golems dropped a really nice sword. Alright. Took me a little bit farther back out than expected, but I don't think there are wild encounters in this area, so let's just move on. Moving on. More of Toby's soldiers lay defeated. Is this more of their work? Yes, it was definitely them. I love the pronoun game. That voice. It's Iodem. You survived. We suffered great losses. Were you fighting a group of six people? There were seven. You've survived as well. There were seven? Is this the same group you were following before? I'm certain of it. One of them must have been... Sheba! Dun dun dun. Sheba, you say? Is this true? The scholar Kraden was protecting her. I'm sure it was Sheba. Did you hear that, Isaac? What do you think they want with Sheba? Sheba, they all... Once they finished with us, they headed for Bobby Lighthouse. What do they hope to find at Bobby Lighthouse? They spoke of the ruins beneath the lighthouse. Ruins? Of course! The foundations of the lighthouse! And Farin, the master of the Lalafell, Followed them into the ruins. I see. Far in two. Isaac, we must head for Bobby Lighthouse as well. Are you concerned about these soldiers? We're fine. You must hurry to the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Sheba, if anything happens. Just hurry. Even the soldiers insist, Isaac. Come on! Alright, so here we are in Lalafell. They were terrible. We were no match. They're horrible. Yeah. Sorry, I got a fly bugging me. They used fire on us. That's just not right. Ugh. We were taken by surprise, but why? Sheba? If only they didn't have Sheba, but even without her as a hostage, we couldn't have beaten them. 
know, hey, look, they only attack the guards. How convenient. I bet Chiba can use her powers to escape them. They all have a lesson coming to them. They'll learn why Sheba is called the Holy Child of Lalafell. Sheba is our only hope. If something happens to her, Lalafell is finished. What do they plan to do with Sheba in the ruins? <sighs> no, I must not think such horrible things. Ooh. Interesting, there are things. Weapons and armor shop. We'll shop later. You're a warrior, right? Please, rescue Sheba. I'll give you a discount on my goods if you rescue her. I can't rescue Sheba. If only I had courage. Maybe then. I'd probably just end up dead. Sheba was taken hostage, and Farron went after them? Yes, that's what I heard. Oh my, what's everyone else in Lalafell doing? If I didn't have to watch my shop, I'd go rescue Sheba myself. The Lala Felons are a timid people, so you can't count on them here. They're also pretty short. The rumbling at the ruins must have been a warning. We have seen many omens of bad things to come. We saw one when Sheba was taken from Lala Fell too. Alright, let's see. Nothing in this jar. I didn't think so, but it seemed semi-important, so I figured I'd check it out. Oh, hey look! Another Mars Ginny! Neat! I think this is our last Mars Ginny, too. Um, Mars Ginny Torch! Alright, so Torch penetrates the defense... Penetrates defenses with a melting blast. And that, um... Yeah, Garrett doesn't change classes, but he's got all of his gin, same as Mia. Oh, I forgot to mention Mia's class. Oh well, she's a paragon. She is a paragon. I read there was something in one of these pots. I guess it's this pot here. No... Hmm. Oh! It's one of these pots on top of the... On the... On top of the inn. Or not the inn, but the item shop. There we go! A water of life! Nice! And then sadly we have to go all the way back around just to get off the rooftops. But that's A-OK, -okay, I suppose. Could Farron have tricked us all? If Sheba does have mystic powers, she couldn't have been taken hostage. A legendary savior will appear in the sky. I was a fool for believing that savior was Sheba. If Sheba can't use her powers in a time like this, they're useless. I'd like to believe in Sheba. Please, Sheba, use your power to escape from them. Uh, she probably already tried doing that, so I don't know what good it is to encourage her. I think I have to jump, yeah. Uh, Farron followed Sheba. I'm sure he'll rescue her. Farron still does not return. What could be happening? Well, that's probably something very dangerous. His wife seems very calm, considering. Deep down, she must be worried about Sheba. That couple raised Sheba as though she were their own child. When someone like Sheba is kidnapped, kidnapped, it worries us all. We received Sheba from the sky and raised her lovingly. I know Farron will rescue that child. It's so painful to even think of anything bad happening to Sheba. I would take her place if I could. Well, it sounds like something bad already did happen to her since, you know, she was kidnapped by Bobby. I just know that father will save my elder sister, Sheba. 
I just wish someone would please rescue my sister, Sheba. Aww. Poor kid. Yeah. Sadly, I don't think we get too much of an explanation for Sheba. She gets a bit more stuff in the sequel. But ultimately, uh, what we know what we know about her at the end of that game is pretty limited. Anyway, I'm gonna give this to Ivan, um, or Isaac. Ivan will take those vials. He can use them in an emergency. And man, my inventories are getting full. Isaac, Garrett, and Ivan. Full inventories. Really need to clean stuff up. Hmm. Yeah. But fortunately, we're nearing the end of the game, so I don't think I need to worry too, too much about it. If I were bigger, I would have saved Sheba myself! I tried to step in front of them to save her, but my heart was trembling. I couldn't stop them. That's no, okay, kid. I'm just glad they didn't hurt you. Bobby's most precious belonging is kept here. No one may enter! I wonder what Bobby's most precious belonging is. If I don't even know, how can I be interested in guarding it? But you could always peek. It's not like anyone would notice. Of course I have seen Sheba's power. It's incredible. How could one with such power ever be taken hostage? Sheba, if the power that you showed us is real, then please escape. If you don't, I might start to doubt that power of yours. There are some who do not believe Sheba has any powers. Doubting Sheba? That is foolish. Sheba is the savior of Lalafell. There's no mistake about it. I don't know of anyone other than Sheba with power like that. Hmm. I wonder what Sheba what sort of power Sheba showed them. Maybe she's an adept, too. If you want to stay, I'll let you, because it means money for me. But if you're a warrior, you ought to be rescuing Sheba. Why did this have to happen to Sheba? If only it were a dream. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so worried about Sheba, I can't concentrate. But no matter how much I worry, there isn't anything I can do. Now, to work! To work! Oh my. House cleaning, changing sheets, it's all done, right? I'm just not myself. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. Working like this keeps my mind occupied. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing to be able to do. Like, I always have a tough time... Uh, well... I overthink things too much. It's very distracting. We must obey Tolby. That's what led to this happening to Sheba. Bobby is responsible for all of it. Once this incident is over, I hope Toby's soldiers all leave town. All right. All righty then. Let's see, did I talk to you? This all happened because Tolby took Sheba away from us. We never should have let Tolby take Sheba away from us. Oh wait, I already read your mind. What am I doing? What am I doing? They say a man named Iodem is coming from Tolby. I guess he plans to make us do even more work. When Iodem gets here, he's going to have some explaining to do. I wonder if I should flee Lalafell. Sheba said that said the cave at the ruins leads to the southeast, but it couldn't possibly lead all the way to Venus Lighthouse. Hmm. wonder how Sheba knew about the caves at the ruins. Her visions. They can't be true. No one's called me, so maybe I'll take a nap. It's been so long since I had a nap, I'd forgotten how nice they are. The ruins that that form the lighthouse foundation are riddled with caves. If you should get if you could get through the caves, I'm sure you'd solve the ruins riddle. Oh come on. Those caves are too dangerous for me to explore. If 
only I were a warrior, then I'd go find the treasure in the caves. Mm-hmm. Treasure in the caves. I guess it was people from Angara who took Shiba hostage. Everyone knows that continent is full of thugs and barbarians. That's racist. If anything happens to Shiba, I'll never do business with anyone from Angara again. Yeah, that'll show them. That will show them. Shiba came flying to the ruins like a shooting star. She created a massive depression in the center of the ruins. Wait, how did she survive that? Even though she fell out of the sky, she wasn't even bruised. They can't hurt Shiba. Well, she does sound very resilient. Even Shiba couldn't have escaped six of them. If something happens to Shiba, what will become of Lollafell? Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like Shiba's very important to these people. There was an earthquake at the ruins before this happened. I wonder if Shiba and the others are okay. The stones we stacked for the lighthouse won't fall, will they? They might, if it shook, a if it shook enough. Bobby isn't building a lighthouse. It's a tower. Maybe he is trying to elevate himself to the level of the gods. I bet Bobby's tower will be struck down. After all, pride goeth before a fall. No, it's pride cometh before the fall, not goeth. Oh, they took Sheba and headed for the ruins. Curses! We couldn't stop Sheba and the others. Well, alright, so that's all of Lollafell explored, so I think I'll go ahead and call that an episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Space Oyster, signing out!